What's up, everyone? Welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. For today's video, I want to share with you my update jewelry collection and I did film an everyday jewelry last year during Vlogmas so if you haven't seen that one yet, I will link it up here somewhere and you should go watch that because my jewelry collection has expanded since then. Anyways, let's get started. So we're going to start with my rings because rings are the most things I cherish and everything that you're going to see on my body right now, these are the jewelry that I wear every single day and that I don't take off. So yeah, we're gonna start off with my hands and we're gonna start off with this ring right here. So this ring right here is my Cartier love ring and this was a gift from Joey. He bought this for me as a graduation ring when I graduated in 2019 and it has both my school and the year I graduated engraved on it. And then just above that one, I have two rings from Jewels by Joanne. And one is yellow gold and the other one is in rose gold. And they're just two very dainty pave turning bands. And they're very small and delicate and I just stack those two on top of it. And then on top of all three of those, I have this catbird ring, which is also very dainty and delicate, and it's a hammered style ring. This one's in yellow gold. If you know me, I like dainty things, so I like things that I can stack with, and that's just my style. So now going to the ring finger, I have this Tiffany ring right here. This is called the Diamond by the Yard, I believe, and it's in rose gold. And then right on top of it is my Cartier love wedding band and this one's with the one diamond this was a present from joy last year for my birthday and this one's in yellow gold and on top of those two that i stack with i have this ring from melanie casey this one is just very cute and i just stack it on top right here on my pinky i have these three rings from catbird i think this one right here is called the tomboy ring and then the two dainty ones which are very dainty. They're called like the Mignon something. These two are so fragile that they have warped, but when I wear it, you really can't tell. So I just stack those three on top. And then onto my other hand, I have my Tiffany set, which is, this one's the Celeste ring. It's only the half eternity one. And then I have my Tiffany classic on top. And then right here on my middle finger, this is from the brand Circium. And this one's a new one. This one I just got and just a very, very pretty eternity ring. The diamonds are rose cut. Very cute to stack right there. Here on my index finger, I have my Justin Clou ring. And this is in the small version. And I just wear it on my index finger. And then right here on my thumb, I have this ring from Etsy. The brand is from Fergus jewelry store or something like that. I think the store that made this is called Fergus Fine Jewelry. I have to look it up. But on it is just the emerald stone and I just wear that as a thumb ring. Now we're gonna go in with my bracelet on my wrist because bracelets are my second thing that I'm trying to build. I'm trying to, I want to have a stack of bangles that's just something that i want to do and so i'm building my little bangle collection so i finally officially completed my stack with the cartier love bangles i have the rose gold white gold and yellow gold version right here and then on top of it i have this bracelet that my mom got and i just wear that on top and then right here this little pave looking bangle is from stephanie gottlieb this is actually new if you haven't seen i think it was day eight i think or day nine when i got this bracelet so i just got this just recently and then Right here is my Justin Clue thin nail bracelet with the diamonds on it. And then we have this Cartier bracelet. I'm not sure the name of this diamond something. Not sure. But I have this one actually wrapped around my Cartier Trinity cord bracelet like this. Because whenever I'm wearing the bangles, this bracelet tends to fall in between and you can't see it. So I just kind of wrapped it around the cord bracelet so it stays on top and also i had this one resized so it fit more comfortable because it was a little loose and then this hand i have my rolex and then 
that's all the jewelry that I wear for a moment on my wrist. And now we're gonna go on with necklaces. So I have this necklace right here. This is from Cartier. Cartier is my number one favorite jewelry store to go and shop at, as you can tell. But I have this Cartier necklace. I'm trying to block my face. <laughs> okay, I have this Cartier necklace right here and I just wear this every single day and that's all I wear for a necklace. And then now I'm gonna go with earrings. I just wear these two earrings. This one right here, my second hole is from Stephanie Gottlieb. It's just a little pave huggy. And then this one right here was an earring I got from, I think it was Amazon or eBay. I said it was 14 karat gold and I want to say it is because my ears are very sensitive and if I were silver or anything that's not 14 karat or not real gold then my ears tend to get inflamed, bumpy, itchy and it, it hurts. Yeah I got this from either Amazon or eBay and that's it. That's all that I wear as my everyday jewelry. I never take none of these off. I wear these 24 7 including this watch like I shower with this watch and all and yeah. I don't take none of this off. So now we're gonna go with other jewelry that I have but don't wear. So we're gonna start off with what's in here. I have this Hermes bracelet. I don't wear this too often. Maybe once in a while I wear it, but for the most part, I don't wear this one. It has a blue enamel on it and it's a rose gold bracelet. Next, I have this Tiffany Atlas ring. I believe this is discontinued because I don't see it on their site anymore. This is what it looks like to get a better view. It has Roman numerals on it and I've had this one for, ooh, I want to say since 2015, probably. I don't even know. It's been a long time since I had this ring. And then this ring right here is a diamond ring. This is from the same company that made my thumb ring. And this is just a diamond ring instead. I used to use this ring as this side's thumb ring, but my thumb has been getting kind of fat. So I'm scared it's never going to come off, especially when it gets hot. My fingers swell and yeah, I get scared that it's going to get stuck on me. Next, I have this bracelet right here that my friend gave to me last year for my birthday. And they're just cute flowers on it. It's from the brand Ana Luisa. And yeah, this one's so cute. This one I can't wear every day because I noticed that since I was wearing it, almost every day that when I shower with it, it's starting to come off the plating on it so I don't wear this every day anymore and then here I have this anklet right here this is just a silver anklet I had this for years sterling silver it needs to be polished because it's very tarnished but I have this little anklet next that I have is this Pandora bracelet this is a sterling silver bracelet with a charm right here from Key West Florida I was actually gonna use this bracelet as a destination bracelet where if I went somewhere I could go to Pandora buy a charm from that place and yeah I never continued it but this is from Key West and then I have this ring right here which is a Key to my heart ring, I think it's called. It's from James Avery. If you're from Texas or any state that sells James Avery, this is like a classic for them. This is what basically everyone has. I loved this ring. This ring Joy got for me since I think 20, probably 2011. And it's been like 10 years since I had this ring. So this is what it looks like. It's just in sterling silver. And one thing about James Avery is that they're very good quality silver. So it's a very famous in Texas. This has a lot of value for me because this was my promise ring basically from 20, 2011. I still have that. And then also this one I had probably since like 2012, maybe 2011 also, I'm not sure. This is also another James Avery necklace. This one's just two hearts. I used to wear this all the time and I still have it, still love it. We'll always keep it and cherish it forever. Now we're gonna go in my little jewelry box, which in here are things that I really don't wear often. I have this gold bracelet right here. This is my mother's. This is just a curbside bracelet, I guess you call it. It's very delicate, the gold, so I don't wear it because I'm afraid that this clasp 
that it comes with it's just gonna open and the bracelet's gonna fall off i'm gonna lose it so that's why i don't wear this i also have a mini version that she bought from me same reason scared of losing it and also this one's a little longer if it's loose on me and if there was a way that i can get a jeweler to switch out the clasp on these i would but i haven't had a chance to go look so i just keep it there i have this earring right here which my sister bought me i think two years ago for christmas probably three years ago the other one's in here somewhere somewhere in there but it's this heart enamel earring stud and it's just really cute i used to wear this on my second hole and then my necklaces are tangled together kind of this necklace i had for years too got this i think this was doing a black friday with my mom and my sister we got it at macy's so it was just a little diamond stud and then i have this heart necklace that has little parve diamonds and sterling silver joey got this for me long time ago too i want to say this was probably 20 13. I have this Tiffany sterling silver charm that my dad gave to me as my high school graduation gift. He had it engraved for me that says 2012 because he used to have a jewelry store and he bought this for me. Next is this Morganite diamond ring and it's in rose gold. It's the pear shape. Joey bought this for me a long time ago. I don't wear this ring that often. This was during the time where Morganite was becoming a thing and I told Joey, oh my gosh, I want my my engagement ring to be morganite but the thing about morganite at least with this one this was from an etsy shop is that the pink stone turns kind of yellowish it's not pink anymore mine is actually yellowish the stone just gets cloudy super easily it doesn't shine so yeah that's what this ring is joey used to buy me a lot of necklaces <laughs> i have this heart pendant right here with little diamonds on it this was an oldie as well that Joey bought me. He used to surprise me with heart pendants all the time. And then lastly, honestly, this is the last ones that I have. I have these two. Let's see if the camera even pick it up. These two stud earrings. One is a heart. The other one is a Texas stud. And these two are from James Avery. Here's the Texas one. And then... Here's what the heart one looks like. I used to wear these two on my second hole and I really want to get my third hole done again. I just, I used to have it done, but like I said, since my ears were so sensitive, I realized that wearing sterling silver or anything that's not real gold just irritated my ear and it got infected. This side would be perfect to get a third hole in, but this side has left a scar bump on my ear. So I'm not sure how they would do that if I want to repair it. I feel like they have to go a little higher to do it and... Yeah, I want to get my third hole pierced again. If I do, these are probably what I'm going to wear on those holes when the time comes. That's all the jewelry that I have. Like I said, everything that's on me is everything that I wear every single day. I don't take them off. And yes, I just wanted to share that with y'all. I'm in bed now, just relaxing. Joey went to go with his friend to go get his exhaust, his old exhaust, at the muffler shop that they that they switched out to his new one with. I'm just home chilling. Like I feel like I have not had a day where I can just be home and relax for about a month or a month and a half. I feel like I've been always on and about. I'm in need of a day to just chill, which is what. At least right now, is I don't know what we're doing tonight. Remember yesterday when I said that it was hot, like 80 degrees? Well, it's cold today. It's 50 something degrees out and I'm freezing right now. This is how Houston weather is. One day it'll be hot, the next day it'll be cold. And this is actually how I would get sick before. I would get sick because of the temperature changes because it would just go from one day being super hot, the next day super cold, and it's gonna be hot again, hopefully. I don't get sick this year, hopefully. All right guys, it's currently 2.30 in the morning and I have a horrible stomach ache. I think I ate something with gluten and my stomach is killing me right now. And then the time frame from when I filmed the clips earlier to now, I just hired with Joey and our friend and we just drove around. I ate Chick-fil-A, they got me Chick-fil-A. I think that's what's hurting my stomach. I think the salad or the fries gluten me, so my tummy hurts and i'm just doing clothes right now but this is gonna be in the vlog guys and i'm not sure if i'm gonna film tomorrow for day 12 or not we'll see we'll see what happens if i go out then i'll probably film if not then i'll probably just take a rest day because i need it 
Vlogmas is so hard. I'm thinking how the heck did I do it last year? Because it's just so difficult. I feel a little overwhelmed. I, I, it's probably just my stomach talking because I just want to complain because my tummy is just like hurting really bad. But anyways, guys, hopefully I will see y'all tomorrow. If not, I'll see y'all the next day. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video today. Good night, guys.